What's up, gang? Welcome back to Principles, a practical fat loss forever system. We are in phase zero, chapter one, prevent failure. And principle number one in this chapter is understand why and how people fail. If you understand exactly why and how people fail to lose weight and keep it off over the long term, you can put yourself in situations now to navigate or work around the same, and the same things that trip other people up to give yourself a better chance and better odds of being more successful over the long term. And if you understand how and why people fail, you can put in backup plans, safety nets, navigation so that when these situations inevitably pop up in your life, you will be more resistant and stay in the game longer, increasing your odds of figuring it out over the long term. Unrealistic ex uh, Number one reason why and how people fail is unrealistic expectations. Having unrealistic expectations can mean a lot of different things. Last couple episodes we've covered unrealistic expectations with workouts and workout schedule. And now we're talking about unrealistic expectations with diet. And we are on diet mistake number two from John is not considering your social demands, not considering how your social demands impact your ability to maintain whatever diet rules you came up with is a huge mistake that people make when they come up with these ideas and expectations of what they're going to do diet wise that makes it unrealistic. So we're talking about John here. And John's idea was meal prep every single Sunday. And we talked about why that was a bad strategy to depend on the meal prep. But he was also going to eat chicken and vegetables for every meal, no alcohol of any kind, stop eating at 7 p.m. and avoiding all bad carbs no matter what. Sounds like a great plan. And on paper, of course, it's going to work. But what John didn't consider was the social demands that he had in his life. First and foremost, with his job, he had to do sales appointments and meetings after work hours, which typically would be around food and drink. Yes, you can go into these things. You can stick to your diet. You can avoid it. However, these influences will start to wear on you over time. And for John, it was a big part of his job of performance, both as a leader and as somebody trying to make sales is that he had to entertain in these settings where this food was going to be in front of him. And while he was able to prepare ahead of time, sometimes at some point, these things will start to wear on you that, and he really enjoyed being social with his family, going out to dinner at restaurants, cooking at home and having wine in those situations. Now, understanding that it's, you can still stick to a diet, but when you are completely dependent on executing a plan like John was as an all or nothing kind of person, thinking that you're going to be able to power through, navigate around or avoid these social situations over the long term is an unrealistic expectation. It also plays into the idea of there's no such thing as perfection, only trade offs. And you have to consider if you're going to stick to this diet, while it's unrealistic to think that you're going to stick to it, if you're able to stick to it, the trade-off would be that you're going to miss out on so many different social situations and social uh, the demands of these social situations that they put on you. So if you are somebody that likes to go out and be social, thinking that you're going to avoid them entirely, while unrealistic is also a bad trade-off, you're not going to be happy with your lifestyle and your quality of life if you have to give up such a huge element of what it was that made you happy in the first place. This leads to, obviously, friction and a challenging situation. And are you the type of person that's going to be able to navigate that situation and still do what you need to do to hit your goal? Obviously, if you have realistic expectations and a flexible plan, you will. But people that are, don't, like John, end up falling off the wagon entirely because they cannot navigate these social situations and still stick to a plan because their plan is too strict and unrealistic in the first place. So that's a little bit about not considering social demands when it comes to the consistency of your diet. On the next episode, we're going to talk about diet mistake number three, not considering your family's wants when it comes to your diet and your goals.